what's your favorite Rockley moment? Like, you must have a moment from this from Rockley that you went, damn, I look good in that scene or something like that. Like, what's your favorite <laughs> Rockley moment? Well, I think, you know, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, anybody that watches the show is a fan of Rockley. I think my, one of, you know, my moment, certainly my top moment is probably a lot of fans' top moment. You know, I think with the fight with Gara, yeah. Um, was just, you know, it was phenomenal in so many ways. I mean, and, you know, as an actor, like, you know, like, like, I think the fans watching the show in real time, while I was recording and watching the, the battle unfold and, and watching, um, you know, during the exams, you know, just watching, uh, you know, me drop the weights and, and just, <laughs> oh, whole, yeah, no you know, the whole, I mean, you know, it was something special. And I think everyone knew that. Um, I, I know that we did as a team, a production team, knew that it was super cool and super um, well written and super well. Uh, it was just stunning looking. Um, yeah. And, you know, and just the weight of not only, I think the weights in literally dropping in that weight, but also symbolically what that meant. Um, yeah, yeah exactly. it, was, it was a remarkable moment and I, I knew we were recording something special. It was also, I think, pivotal to the series, you know, in the sense that yeah. that everybody that was on that journey so far, because that happened in like episode 48, 49, so it was very early on yeah. in, the, in the, you know, the evolution of, of the story and the series. But I think at that point, um, anybody that was on the fence about Naruto and watching the series and committing to it was like, whoa, 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 this is something crazy. And for a yeah, long exactly. time, you know, that fight was in the top 10 of anime lore, you know, and I don't know if it's still Oh, is, yeah, for, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I know it's considered still one of the top fights in anime. Um, yeah, and so that was super special. And, and it, you know, and, I, and again, I think we all knew it. Um, which is very different because a lot of times when you yeah. do do stuff or you're you're acting, you, know, you don't know, you don't really know, you know, if it's going to hit or connect with the audience. And um, but yeah. that one, you know, you, you, even when I was doing it, I was like, oh, wait a minute, this is this is pretty remarkable. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So no, I, I mean, I'm you know, yeah, and I, I guess if I were to keep going down the list, you know, same thing. I think the drunken, you know, you know that that was that was one of the, that was probably the most fun I had recording last week. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, because Mary Elizabeth, the director, was just so, she's like, yeah, let's do more, let's push it, let's just, <clears throat> you know, and I, and I don't drink at all, um, and so, you know, so as an actor, I had to like, you know, I had to, I had to pretend, you know, I had to pretend yeah. that, I was, that I was drunk or even knew what, you know, that would feel like or, or how Rock Lee would act in that way, um, but it was awesome, and it was awesome, I think, just obviously to record and, and for the show, but yeah. also it was awesome because it was an homage to Jackie Chan um, and yeah. Drunken, you know, Fist. And and so that was really cool because uh, I'm a big fan of Jackie Chan. And, um, and then, yeah, I mean, just I think with with Rock Lee opening the sixth gate and doing it for Guy and, and willing to risk his life for Guy, um, you know, just shows and was a nice climax um, or yeah. culmination of their relationship and the loyalty they had to each other um, yeah. and a great and a great lesson you know like who yeah. you know it, it does pose the question like who would you who would you die for you know who exactly, would you yeah. die for and that's a big question you know yes 